Hi, so I'm now in front of the Nijo Castle and it's already March here in Kyoto but it's still freezing cold and um, I'm here because uh, New Machia has just been renovated and it's only a few minutes walk from where I am now. So whoever watching the video now, you guys are the first ones to see it. So that's one way to anytime. Let's go. I was lucky that an ex-colleague of mine, Yasuda-san, he knew that I started this YouTube channel and is kind enough to let me visit and film this old house right after renovation. I've not visited this house before renovation, but I've scrolled through some photos on its website and it seems to be a petite one-story house that sits inside an alley with nicely paved road. The renovation project started from the end of 2019, so it took quite some time before it's finished. Also, I'm really sorry during the video I kept saying Kyo Machia, uh, but forgive me, I actually found out after filming that it is an old Japanese house uh, that's built after the 1950s, so it is not Kyo Machia. The purple umbrella. I don't know if it's on purpose, but that's pretty exciting. Looks really neat and clean. Oh, I see somebody already. Oh, this is not a decoration, but just fell over by accident. Here we are. Wow. I'm gonna change the camera after I go in. So I've switched to my camera and my friend Yasa-san is waiting inside. Ah. So today uh, he'll be kind of showing the place uh, for me as I tour through this uh, Kyomachia. So I think this is supposed to be like a living no ichibu desu ka ne? Koko wa? So desu ne, ano ittai ni natte ni living to. Ah, nohodo. Living, ma like a hole I think that you can kind of utilize in any way that you want. So, uh, so it's really different from what I saw from the pictures that uh, it seems to be changed pretty drastically and that uh, it's quite modern I think because you don't see a lot of the original features. Uh, well, except for, I guess, like the beam and I think they added these new ones over here for like the dining space. But I wonder, um, it doesn't seem like there's any space to put a bed. Well, I guess if you're just by yourself, you can put a bed somewhere around this area or over there. Um, but it seems like there's a loft on the, on the top. Eto, yes, I want, don't know, can't you put a loft? Okay, so if somebody wants to, if somebody likes the loft space, um, just be, be careful when you wake up because uh, if you're too tall, you probably bump into the ceiling. Um, but you can probably have a ladder over here um, if you want to utilize this space on the top. And then. I guess this is the dining table. By the way, this is they're using the, the earthen floor, so it's actually gonna be really cold in the winter, but uh, I think as long as you have like an AC or like a stove around, because it's not a big huge space that you wouldn't be too you wouldn't be too cold if you put it properly. But uh, these are really nice furnitures. Very cute. Wow. So I imagine that uh, if somebody was to use this space, maybe rather than like a residence, it would be nice as like an atelier or or even like office space because it's not that huge, but you know the the space is simple, so you can kind of just arrange everything yourself. Uh, you can have the TV over there, and we can just 
take all the way the furniture and just have like some sort of workspace. And then I'm going to be showing you the kitchen area as well as uh, the washrooms. The kitchen is over there, by the way. Okay, so we're going to see the kitchen right now. And I really like these decorations on the top and I'm pretty sure these uh, beams are from before so it really matches the overall tone of this house and again it's a very sunny day so I'm happy that I get to see this house so bright and open so this is a rather small kitchen but I think it's big enough if you're by yourself and here is probably where you have the fridge and um, you know you have enough space to do some cooking over here if you want to and they, then they have this window view of the alley that I think will be really nice uh, so I'll keep it open ho 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 let's see looks so this is the view that you will get from the back of your kitchen. I mean, there is some privacy issues because you have this house on the side, but you know, if you become friends and so on, you know, it'll be such a nice neighborhood. You just share this common alley. And here probably you can have a bicycle, you know, because living in Kyoto, it's gonna be difficult if you don't have a bike to go around. All right, so let's head towards the bathroom space. And then uh, this is where, this is kind of like a small garden um, where you can also have some plants or flowers. It's not so huge, but you know, as long as you have some space for ventilation and let in the sunlight, I think it's good. If you're going to be living here and, uh, and here we are at the bathroom it's a uh, 12 by 16 I think it's not so huge but it's brand new of course and then here is your uh, sanitary space where you have I think uh, the washing machine over here I don't know if you can open this window but uh, you know, it's like antique retro style so again very cute that matches the overtone, overall tone of the house and lastly I guess just the typical scene of the toilet I think nothing special here but as long as it's not like a squatting toilet I think you'll be able to live here comfortably Okay. Personally, I really just like this grand open space, um, like a living room space that combines the, uh, the hall and the entrance all together. So even you know, if it's going to be cold in the winter because my feet are like freezing now, I think it's still going to make like a great uh, working or uh, workshop. This is my first house tour of a fully renovated house. I'm quite ashamed of my lack of expression and vocab. Um, but thankfully, I get to interview the architect who designed this house, Nakamoto-san from Studio Monaka. And he can tell you about some of the concepts behind renovating this house. So uh, can you tell, tell us a little bit about um, what's the appealing point of this house? and uh, what kind of uh, people do you imagine to be uh, living or using uh, a kyomachiya like this? えっと、そうですね。この建物はまあ、元々すごくサイズも小さいので、あの、ですね、すごくシンプルに設計が落ちました。まず水回りとかは全部人をピッカシュ
使うこともできるので、まあ、それは住む人にとって使う人にとって自由な形で整えることができると思います僕らとしてはあのとりあえず空間を整えたので、まあ、それをあとは使う人の好みによってアップデートしていくという形で思っています So, just, just out of curiosity, if you were to、uh, name this house,、um, what kind of name would you give it? Yes, it's a good name. This house is a good name. It's 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 a good name. So, like a box in an alley. Okay, thank you. What would you say is the, the appealing point of being in an alley, and what's the not so good point of the alley? Lodge Oak is a place where you can see that the whole thing is not in the same way. But it's a little bit of a difference. 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 ちょっと謎めいた空間になるのでそこでお店をやっててもここはどういう場所なんだろうっていう形でみんなの好奇心を誘うような、まあ、お店作りもできると思うし、まあ、あんまりこう外にあの見えなくても今の時代 SNS とかでいくらでも発信はできるのでこの場所で何かをしていたらなんかちょうどいい隠れ家のような場所になるのですごくいいリッチなのかなと。We are towards the end of this house tour. Did you like the tour and the interview? And how would you like to use a house like this? Since I'm going to start the renovation of my own Machia property, visiting houses like this gives me a lot of inspiration on how I would like my house to be. Having a stylish and spacious living room is obviously important, but I think a tatami room with a view of the tranquil garden is a must for my Kyo Machia house. So, this is the end of the tour, and I'm with Yasuda san and、uh, Nakamoto san from、uh, the architect office. So, thanks again, Yasuda san, for having me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. If you're interested to see more about the property, I'm going to be linking、uh, the page. And so, that's it for the video, and I'll be visiting more. Interesting、uh, Machia houses or houses,、uh, hopefully outside of Kyoto as well, around Japan. So, if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you again. There is a hook, mystery solved. <laughs>